Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to help you determine the molecular geometry of O3 molecule. It's a chemical formula for ozone and for determining its molecular geometry we are first going to look at its Lewis structure. So here is the Lewis structure of O3. Now um, it has three oxygen atoms and there is one double bond and one single bond. Now ozone has resonance structures but generally this is the Lewis structure we use to uh, show the uh, ozone structure. So we are going to take this structure over here and to give you a better idea we are also going to look at its 3D shape. So if you look at its uh, shape in 3D you can see that the molecular geometry or the shape is bent. Now this is due to the lone pair that is present on the central uh, oxygen atom over here that you can see. Now according to VSCPR theory there are repulsive forces between bonding pairs of electrons and non-bonding pairs of electrons and due to these repulsive forces molecules tend to take shape which minimizes this these type of forces. So as there is a lone pair on the central atom it will push down these two oxygen atoms and as a result there will be a bent in the structure. You can also confirm this by using AXN notation method and um, the AXN notation for O3 molecule will be AX2N because there are two, two atoms forming bonds with the central oxygen atom and there is one lone pair of electrons on the central atom and the so notation is AX2N and if you refer this table you can see the molecules that are having AX2N as their uh, AXN notation have bent molecular geometry and the bond angles are given 120 degrees over here but for ozone it is going to be a little less than this. So ozone is a bent molecule and I hope this video helps you to understand that. For more such videos on Lewis structure, molecular geometry, polarity of the molecules, make sure to subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching.